Welcome back to 5AA. Now, just before that track, uh, we had uh, Ben on the, on the horn, and he was telling us this fascinating story about this uh, really grisly encounter of a great white shark. So, so, for the next hour or so, we're going to keep the lines open, uh, and we're just going to invite callers to uh, tell us about your near-death experiences. Uh, so, we've actually got a caller on the line now. Uh, it's Michael from North Cove. How you doing, Michael? Uh, why don't you tell us a bit about your near-death experience? Hi there. Um... First time, long time listener, first time caller. I just wanted to tell a story. I had a bit of a near death experience the other day. Yeah, no, it was uh, pretty crazy. I was on Peary Street. Oh, yeah, in, Peary, yeah. Where Peary Street is in the city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it's more kind of east than west. If you kind of. I'll take your word for it, mate. But I was walking along, mm -hmm. um, not many people around, and I saw like a wallet. Someone had dropped their wallet. You know, um, when that happens, like when people, like they, it's meant to go in their pocket, but it's it's not really in their pocket. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Of course, of course. I guess it's hard to describe, but um, yeah, it was on. It was just sitting there, and um, there weren't weren't many people around. I would say, like pretty low foot traffic. Um, sunny day, like mild humidity, definitely. Yeah, like daunting nonetheless. Uh, a bit though, of right? like incoming cloud cover. Yeah. And then there was a bit of rain, like. Or maybe 13 hours later. I don't know if that's accurate, though. You should probably ask a meteorologist about that. You know, we'll get but someone anyway, to that there was this wallet, and you know, you, you always think you're going to be the hero. You always think you're going to be the person who, who gives back the money and gives back the wallet and, and does the right thing. But I was just thinking in that moment, like, how much money is it? Like, if, if it's enough, like, that's when you start thinking about yourself and, and, and like, I've got a lot of things like repairs to do and like money money's pretty tight right now so I wasn't even sure what I'd do when I got over to the wallet, you know? What decision would I make? And it made me pause, um, just for a second though, because I don't really like to to think too much about these things. So I walked over. Turns out it was just a bit of leather. You just kidding? a bit of leather, actually. <coughs> not a um, not a wallet. <laughs> So it was a bit damp, there was a hair on it, very soggy, um, I just put it in the bin. But if I hadn't washed my hands straight afterwards, I probably could have gotten a bad disease. So it was a pretty, pretty near-death experience, I guess you could say. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> oh. Just, 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 wow. Truly, truly thrilling stuff. Blimey. Well, you know, you know, you know, folks. I don't, I don't think we're going to be doing it any better than that. Uh, so, I think I might just close. It. All right, all right. Uh, we've got a uh, one more caller. It's uh, Ben from uh, Poran. Never heard of the place. All right, all right, Ben, you're on the line. Tell us about your near-death experience. Hello. Uh, oh, basically, I murdered a bloke and buried him in the bush, and nobody knows about it. So I thought I'd come on your program. All right, all right, Ben. Oh. You're putting the listeners to sleep, mate. Boring. Just boring. Oh, there's always one, folks. Alright, alright. So, uh, up next, sports. This is Burp Radio, coming at you live from the Boulder Fetish Network. Odor fetish? Yeah, it's pretty funny. Like a radio That's station, really odor fetishes. 